welcome back to my channel. So a little while ago I did a, a an Etude House final, what is it called? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago I uploaded a video of Etude House's new fixing tint review and little did I know that they came out with new shades a while after that. So today I aircon action going on. But anyway, a few days after that they came out with new shades. So here I am again. So they came out with three new shades and I'm just going to show you a comparison of the first five shades. Here are the first five and these are the new ones. More pinkish colors. I was hoping for them to come with new shades and then it was as if they heard me. I'm just kidding. But anyway, so this is the box packaging and these are the products. They're pretty much the same just different shades. If you're interested in the first five shades, I will link it up here somewhere in the corner. Okay, so I'll just talk briefly about the packaging. It has this clear cap, it has the fixing tint and etude logo on the side. It's this very soft and velvety type of texture on the bottle of the product, which is so smooth. When you open it, this is the brush. It's very slim. The tip is slightly tilted upwards and it tapers a bit at the end. Since this is version 2, I have to kind of mix it up a little bit. So today I will be doing a face mask test. Um, otherwise, other than that, I'll be doing my gradient and my folix. So let's get started. look it's kind of like this sultry burnt red type of color I think it looks quite flattering very feminine at the same time soft brick red if you're not really into bright reds i would recommend this color more of a toned down red okay i'm gonna go right into the mask test this is my mask and i'm just gonna pat it i do feel it sticking on Okay, that's not too bad. You can see a faint color of it. It doesn't leave a big stain. And you can see here my lips are still pigmented. it is a classic pink color that makes her lips pop there's no hues of orange it's just a pink color that has more of a high saturation the name for this shade is cranberry plum which I can kind of see where they get that it does have kind of like this plummy look to it plummy pink if that makes sense or a berry pink color a very youthful and playful color this mauvey soft pink color now it's a deeper mauvey pink color this kind of color has been trending in korea for a while probably in the states too for like an mlbb color that you can wear every day it kind of has hues of purple so it gives you the like coma what is a sweet potato type of pink a very sophisticated and mature look for Etude House. So those are my swatches for the three new shades that came out. Thank you so much for watching. My battery's about to die, so hopefully I get the swatches in. 
But anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, do like and subscribe down below. I'll see you in my next video. Oh,